Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Uh, today we're taking a look at some of the basic rules for uh, calculating derivatives. Right now we're going to take a look at the product rule and the quotient rule. Um, now these uh, are really important rules to remember because um, some people typically might think that uh, the derivative of uh, two functions multiplied together, f, g, would just be f prime times g prime or uh, them divided would just be uh, f prime over g prime. That's not the case, and we're going to look at a, a simple example immediately to see why that's not the case. So we have f of x equals x squared, and g of x equals x to the ninth. So we're going to do f times g, x squared times x to the ninth. You add the exponents, that's x to the eleventh. Now, if we just take the derivative of, f of, uh, of x to the eleventh, we get 11x to the 10th. Now, if we instead take uh, f prime times g prime, well, we have f prime equals 2x using the power rule, and g prime equals 9x to the eighth using the power rule. f prime times g prime would be 18x to the ninth. So we can see that this, these two don't match. And that's why we don't use this as the product rule. So these are the main mistakes that people normally uh, make using the product and uh, quotient rules. Um, now we'll take a look at why this isn't true for the quotient rule. Now in this case, we have f over g would be x squared over x to the ninth. which is just 1 over x to the 7th, which is x to the negative 7. And using the uh, power rule, we get negative 7x to the negative 8th as the derivative. But if we uh, do the derivative of f prime, uh, excuse me, if we take f prime over g prime, as that derivative, we have 2x over 9x to the eighth, which is 2 over 9x to the seventh. So you can see uh, that we don't get the same answers. So we need to make sure that we're not making the mistake of doing fg prime or f over g prime equals f prime g prime or uh, f prime over g prime. So now we're going to take a look at what the, act, the rules actually tell us. So we have f g prime of x is going to be equal f prime times f prime of x times g of x plus f of x times g prime of x. So that's what the power rule tells us, or ex excuse me, the product rule tells us. We're going to immediately take a look at an example of uh, the product rule. So we have f of x equals 4x squared plus 2x, uh, all that times x to the fourth plus 2x cubed minus 5. Now we could simply multiply that out and use linearity in the power rule, but instead we want to use our product rule for the first time here. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to take this as f of x and this as g of x, and we're going to go ahead and use the power rule, uh, the product rule. And now we're just going to go ahead and take the derivatives here. Using the power rule in linearity, the uh, derivative of this is 8x plus 2.
Now, again, using the power rule in linearity, we have uh, the derivative of x to the 4 is 4x cubed, the derivative of 2x cubed is 6x squared, and the derivative of the constant 5 is 0. Now, if we multiply all this out, we're going to get 24x to the 5th plus 50x to the 4th. plus 16x cubed minus 40x minus 10. Now, I'm going to leave it as a separate exercise, but if you go ahead and uh, multiply this all out here and then use the power rule in linearity to calculate the derivative, you're going to come up with the same answer as we have down here. So now we'll take a look at the quotient rule. We have f over g prime of x. Whatever function is on the, uh, in the denominator here is going to remain in the denominator and get squared. And the numerator, you're going to bring that g of x up to the top, multiply it by f prime of x, and then subtract f of x minus, uh, times g prime of x. So immediately, we're going to go ahead and take a look uh, at another example here. Now, this function, you could put the x minus 5 on the top by uh, doing x minus 5 in parentheses to the negative 1, and uh, then go ahead and use the uh, product rule. But we're going to go ahead and uh, use the quotient rule and leave that as an exercise for you to do um, using the product rule. So we have uh, x minus 5, the numerator is x minus 5 times uh, the numerator of the original function, uh, the derivative of that, minus uh, g, or excuse me, minus f times the derivative of g. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and take those derivatives. The derivative of x cubed plus 4x squared is 3x squared plus 8x. And the derivative of x minus 5, well, we have a constant, so that's going to be 0. And the derivative of simply x is going to be 1 times x to the 0, which is just 1. Now, if you go ahead and multiply this all out, you're going to get an answer um, that would be uh, equivalent to the answer as if you uh, use the product rule on this. Those two functions, this one here and this one here, are equivalent. Uh, I will leave it as another exercise for you to go ahead and uh, use the product rule and uh, see if you can come up with the same answer as we had um, using the quotient rule. But uh, in closing, uh, again, the most important thing to remember about the product and quotient rules is that fg prime does not equal f prime g prime, and f over g prime does not equal f prime over g prime. Make sure that you're using the proper product and quotient rules. Thank you for watching. For more math videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Or for additional resources, including affordable digital textbooks, please visit centerofmath.org.